hi, this is Richard Crack here. Welcome to another session of my video. In today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is, lack of persistence is one of the major causes of failure. All right. Now, how many of you here have read the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill? I'm sure many people would have read the book, right? It's a fantastic book, one of the best seller as far as personal development book is concerned, all right? Now, in the book, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill defined what is persistence, all right? Now, this is what he said. There are no heroic connotation to the word persistence, but the quality is to the character of man what carbon is to steel, all right? Now, if you want to uh, burn and mold the steel, you need to have charcoal burning all the time, persistently. All right, so that is why, you know, it is likened to uh, carbon is to steel. All right, now, lack of persistence is one of the major causes of failure. Do you agree with me on that? It is one of the major causes of failure because people fail most of the time is because of lack of persistence. All right. Now, in the book Think and Grow Rich as well, Napoleon Hill said that there is a hidden guide whose duty is to test men through all sorts of discouraging experiences. All right? No one enjoys great achievement without passing the persistency test. That is why it is so important to be able to persist because like uh, what is stated in the book, there is a hidden guide whose duty is to test men. All right? If you can pass the persistence test, then you'll be uh, richly rewarded. But unfortunately, many people, most of the people fail. That's why they live a life of desperation. Okay? So you need to be persistent in everything you do, which is very true. That is what is quoted in Think and Grow Rich. All right? Now, anyone can learn persistence. Do you realize that everyone can learn persistence? Because persistence is a state of mind and can be cultivated, all right? Persistence is just a state of mind and it can be cultivated. Now, based on different, uh, on definite causes, all right? So basically, I'm going to uh, talk to you about eight things here, whereby based on definite causes, all right? Number one, to be, have, to be able to have persistence, you need to have, number one, a definite of purpose. That means you must know what you want in life. You must have a definite goal. Without a definite purpose in life, you will never be persistent because when you have a def definite purpose in life, it will keep you going uh, in the right direction. And through all the challenges and obstacles, you will still persist because you need to have a definiteness of purpose. So ask yourself, do you have a definiteness of purpose? Now, in most cases, definiteness or purpose must be something bigger than yourself. It must be bigger than yourself. It's not only for yourself, but probably it's for the society, for the human race, or whatever it is, all right? But that is why it can be strong because it is not only about you, but it's about other people, okay? So you must have a definiteness of purpose. You must know what you want. Like I say, you know, you can have anything in life that you want, but most people do not know what they want, all right? So the first one is definiteness of purpose. Number two, in order to have persistency, you must have desire. All right. In Think and Grow Rich, the Hill spoke about desire. You must have a burning desire. The starting point of all achievement is desire. Without a burning desire, you will just quit most of the time. You got to have a strong burning desire. All right. What heap of burning desire? Not just, you know, uh, I, I, I want to get it done, I want to achieve this. No, it has to be a burning desire. You do it and give whatever you have, do whatever it takes, okay? So you need to have a burning desire. It cannot be just a wish. Most people just have a wish, that's all. All right, so in order to have persistency, you need to have a burning desire within you that whatever it takes, I will have to achieve it, that's it. Okay, that's the second one. The third one is you must have self-reliance. Self-reliance here means you have self-belief. That means you must believe in yourself that you are capable of accomplishing what you want. Okay? You need to have the ability to take action as well. As you and I know, you know, action is very important. A lot of people don't take enough action. That's why they do not succeed. All right? So self-reliance, 
believing yourself that you can succeed and most of all take massive massive action okay that's the second uh, that's the third one the fourth one is you must have definiteness of plan well it's about organized plan i'm sure you're aware if you don't have a plan you go around and round and round and round at the end of the day you land at the same place where you started all right so you need to have a plan and an organized plan all right now you don't have to have a complete plan when you start all right most people think that you know they want to have a complete plan but the truth is that you don't need to have a complete plan you start where you are and plan and go ahead and change your plan you know and, and, and what you call modify your plan that's what it is so you need to have a plan so if you want to achieve something what is your plan towards achieving that all right let's say you want to uh, uh, generate one million dollars all right well what is your plan what are you supposed to do then you got to do do whatever it takes all right so plan it first what is your plan okay number five you need to have accurate knowledge knowledge is important because without knowledge you will not know what to do that's why it is uh, important for you to gather information to learn to improve yourself all right because once you have a lot of information then you have accurate knowledge knowing that one's plan is sound all right if you don't have knowledge then you would not know whether uh, your plan is sound or not you just like gambling all right you don't know you're just throwing uh the what you call the pie to the wall all right and and hoping that it will stick all right most of the time it will not stick all right so basically you need to have accurate knowledge you should know very well about what you want to do are you me all right let's say again if you want to talk about uh, uh you want to earn one million dollars all right you know you need to know what you need to what, what are you going to do about it what business you're going to do and then you know what is the business then you got to zoom in what are the plan you are going to take are you me so you need to know in terms of the planning and so on all right and like i say you know interest will not make you successful all right you got to really have the burning desire okay now number six you need to have cooperation because teamwork is very important although it is your own personal goal all right but you must have a team that's why in think and grow rich napoleon hill spoke about having a mastermind group whereby people of the same thinking they come together and they discuss all right because in the book it say when two mind comes together that's likened to a third mind that is present as well all right so it's important that you have cooperation the sympathy of other people the understanding the harmonious cooperation working as a team in harmony is so important all right that's why success is not about individual working together but you must have a good team to work together so you need cooperation all right you need cooperation and uh, as I'm, I'm sure a lot of you may not know about this but you don't know you do realize that we are now in the we generation previously we were in the me generation me generation means you know look at me i'm successful i drive a big car i live in a big house follow me because i'm successful that is me but today in the we generation we talk about collaboration about teamwork making uh, the world a better place are you with me so that is why it's so important to have cooperation number seven this is very important you need to have will power all right you got to consciously have the willpower to keep on going knowing that it's going to be tough the journey is going to be tough all right but you need to have the willpower to persist to keep you going because without willpower you will give up at the first sign of defeat you will give up all right so you need willpower to be able to push you forward in fact it's like a fuel you know to push you forward without willpower you just easily give up and willpower is basically you need to be able to consciously make up your mind that's it i'm going to do it i'm going to do whatever it takes and i'm not going to quit i'm not going to uh, withdraw are you me so that is willpower number seven number eight you need to have the right habit all right success is all about habit as you know we are creatures of habit we do whatever we do because of the habit over the period of years that we have accumulated all right so basically we got to have good habits and talk about faith and talk about fear all right most people have fear have doubt that's why they cannot move ahead but if you want to be successful you want to be persistent and continue with what you do you need to have faith you need to have belief are you with me so important to have the habit of having faith having belief and knowing 
that is going to happen. All right, although you are going into the unknown, all right, you're going to the unknown because the future is unknown, but then uh, you need to be able to have faith. That's important, all right? Unlike, you know, a lot of people who fail, they have fear, they have doubt, they have worry. Those are all the negative emotion that will not make you persist. Are you with me? So basically, like I said just now, uh, uh, persistence can be developed. It can be cultivated because it is a state of mind, all right? So here, uh, uh, I want to tell you two stories about persistency, all right? This is very important topic now. I'm sure you heard about Colonel Sanders, all right? Colonel Sanders was the person who discovered Kentucky Fried Chicken, all right? At the age of 65, when he retired, he was having a pension check of just about below $100, all right? And he was not satisfied with it. And he thought about it, what can I do to improve my condition, to improve my situation? So he thought to himself, he said, hey, I got a uh, fried chicken recipe that a lot of my friends like. Maybe I can go and, uh, you know, and approach people regarding this chicken recipe fried chicken recipe so he went to a lot of restaurants in the united states and he approached the restaurant owner he said i'm here to share with you my fried chicken recipe that is very very tasty and very successful and what i want from you is i don't want any money from you to pay for the recipe but what i want from you is for every piece of chicken that you sell just pay me a little bit that's all that's what franchising is about right so that's how he started now, do you realize that he went around the whole country in his old junk car and his white suit, like what you see, you know, on, on most of the uh, pictures and so on. And he, he went to most of the restaurants, they turned him down. In fact, he went to 1,008 restaurant, and the owners turned him down. The owners told him, you know what, your brain is fried, old man. We have got our own fried chicken recipe. Why should we use yours? All right. And he never gave up. He kept on going. And on the 1009, you know, the restaurant owner said, let's give it a try. Now, do you realize that that one success brought Kentucky Fried Chicken to what it is today? All right. So can you tell me that uh, Colonel Sanders is persistent? 1008 failure. Now, how many of you can go to 1008 rejection and failure? No wonder that not many people like Colonel Sanders around in the world. All right, because a lot of people just don't persist. They will give up. All right. At the first sign of, uh, you know, challenge, they will give up. They will quit. And then the worst thing, they will slowly disappear. You know, that is the sad part about it. All right. Persistency pays off, my friend. you got to be persistent. All right. So look at it. Kentucky Fried Chicken was founded by Colonel Sanders and today, it has flourished throughout the whole world, all right? And just because of one success, that's all, all right? Another story I'll talk to you about is uh, Thomas Edison. I'm sure you know who is Thomas Edison. He was one of the greatest inventor of all time, right? He invented many things. But one of the uh, important things that he invented is the light bulb, okay? The incandescent light bulb. Now, the thing is that, you know, that light bulb, you know, he tried to invent, invent the light bulb and he failed, according to sources, right? He failed 10,000 times. 10,000 times. You can imagine that 10,000 failures. All right. And basically, uh, he had at one time, the light bulb exploded in his face. All right. And he was hospitalized. All right. And I remember, I read somewhere, the, the what you call it, the media interviewed him, you know, and, and asked him, Mr. Edison, is it true that you failed 10,000 times? He said, no, I did not fail 10,000 times. I discovered 10,000 ways that did not work, work. What it means is that every time, you know, it did not work, I'm getting closer to the way that's going to work. What a way to think. Don't you think so? That is why he is one of the greatest inventor of all time. Most of us, you know, will say, well, it's true. I failed 10,000 times. In fact, most of you won't reach 10,000 times. All right, but he said, I did not fail 10,000 times. I merely discovered 10,000 ways that did not work. So now I'm getting nearer and nearer to the way that's going to work because I'm eliminating all the things that do not work. All right, and he discovered the light bulb. And thanks to Thomas Edison today, you know, we are not living in darkness. We don't need candle or the oil lamp. Today, we have electricity and the light bulb because of what? Of one person by the name of Thomas Edison. You see, if you look at all the success story outside there, let me tell you, even in politics or whatever it is, all right, 
They are all persistence. Nothing happens easily, all right? It will take persistency. Like Napoleon Hill said, there is a hidden guide whose duty is to test, okay? To test human through all the discouraging experiences. And many will fail, but those who succeed, they will be richly rewarded. So Thomas Edison was one of those people. Colonel Sanders was one of them. Uh, look at Jack Ma as well, all right, Jack Ma. When he first wanted, he wanted to start Alibaba, he spoke to 24 of his classmates, you know. And you know what? Most of them told him, forget about the idea. Just go back to work. Go back and teach. He was a teacher, right? Go back and teach. He didn't listen to them. All right, but he went into the business, but did he succeed overnight? No. They worked very hard for the first two, three years, you know. Huh? In fact, I still remember, all right, somewhere, they, they slept in the office, my friend, they slept in the office, you know, for the first few years. And they were not successful. They don't have income. They were just working on it. And guess what? They became successful only after seven years, my friend. Seven years. Is that persistence? Yeah. If he has stopped at the third year or fourth year, there won't be Alibaba today. All right. But the thing is that persistency really, really pays. And I hope that you're beginning to see what I'm trying to uh, tell you today that you need to be persistent in whatever you do, right? I see a lot of people, even in, in network marketing, you know, they join one company after another, after another. Hey, come on, a rolling stone gather no moss, all right? It is not the program that is no good. It is you that is not persistent enough. Are you with me? So you got to be the right person. I always tell people, you know, you got to be at the right place at the right time. Yeah, but are you the right person? You got to be the right person. You got to be persistent if you want success. Okay, I really hope that you learned something here because I think this is a very, very important topic. All right, now let me summarize for you. Basically, uh, you know, uh, anyone can learn persistent. It is a state of mind and can be cultivated. All right, and what do you need? Number one, you need definiteness of purpose. All right, you need to have a purpose. Number two, you need to have a strong desire, a burning, burning desire. Number three, you need to have self-reliant. That means you've got to believe in yourself and take action. Number four, you must have a definiteness of plan. All right, you don't have to need to have a complete plan. Start where you are and just move on and, you know, improve on your plan, modify your plan as you go along. All right, number five, accurate knowledge. That's why information is very important. That's why you've got to uh, 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 improve yourself. All right, read a lot. Uh, attend course and so to to be able to have knowledge all right number six cooperation important it's all about teamwork you cannot be successful on your own that's why in the book thing and grow rich Napoleon here uh, devote one chapter on mastermind you need to have a mastermind group that means working as a team in harmony all right number seven willpower well there's no shortcut to it. You got to be real yourself to be able to last. All right, to keep on going, keep on going, keep on doing. I know, all with all the discouragement, with all the tiring things and so on. You know, you have to keep on going. That's all. And number eight, habit. Okay, you got to have good habit, positive habit. Okay, you got to have, have faith and belief. All right, that is so important. Okay, so I hope that you learn something. If you like what you hear. Today, please uh, feel free to uh, like, to share, and to comment, okay? I appreciate your time here. And, you know, if you are on uh, YouTube, because I'm posting this to YouTube, uploading this to YouTube as well, uh, please feel free to follow me and also to uh, subscribe to my channel, okay? So with that, this is I'm going to see you tomorrow night again where I'm going to talk about uh, internet marketing, all right? So with that, here's Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.